what is early life epigenetics? This is a second video that follows the video of what is epigenetics. You can go there, we'll put the link right down in the comments. So now, what is early life epigenetics? So let's get started a little bit with development. It's a dynamic process that involves interplay between genes and the environment. We know now. From conception and even before conception, the quality of the environment is shaped by parents. Our parents, us as parents, our kids as maybe one day parents to be. Parenting has a critical role in epigenetic factors. And we can get into the jargon and concept of DNA methylation, histone modification, small non-coding RNAs, etc. We can talk about it some other time. And yes, it's interesting, but it still does not give us an answer. Well, parental interactions promote growth or survival with implications for later in life. Neurobiological, biochemical, and behavioral implications. Science has begun to recognize that the direction of the epigenetic pathways embedded to our early life experience may also be transgenerational consequences, even. At the end of the day, when I talk about early life epigenetics, there are three main dynamics to keep in mind. The environment, the experience that actually is part of the environment, and the legacy that again is environment and is experience dependent. Our kids depend on that environment we provide and their experiences need to be acknowledged and understood from their own perception, not ours. This is part of our legacy. And I intentionally talk right now about legacy and not inheritance, not to get long if I go into epigenetic imprints, going generations after generations or cellular memory and all that stuff that we can also talk about at some other time. I love that. It is what we bring on the table, the places we go, with whom we interact, what we watch on TV, but it's actually to be conscious enough to understand how our little ones are living the life they are living, right here, right now, from their own places and their own perspective. We talked about it before in the previous video. It all creates a cascade of biological reactions. That is communication, that is also environment, to our body, to our cells, to our DNA. The body, the cells, and the DNA of our babies and children. Along our life, we can make a number, actually a long number of interventions to make a shift on that, that, what, that has been settled in our early life. But today, what we do is creating that set up to ease or disease on our babies and children today. As just mentioned, parental interactions promote growth or survival with implications for later in life, neurobiological, biochemical, and behavioral. Therefore, and listen to this carefully, our own early life is directly related with the way we parent. And the way we parent will impact the development the relationships, the health, and the well-being of our kids. For life, it's a fact. It's a continuum. It's a chain we cannot separate or even avoid. But that we can consciously and intentionally shape for creating a healthy, happy, evolving, and thriving kids. Our family. Stay tuned because I will continue with this conversation. If you have specific questions about it, please DM me or just drop a comment. I will be very happy to answer to those. See you soon.